folks. Welcome to Homestead Kitchen Living. Or maybe I should say welcome back. For me, for you, I'm glad you're here watching. Well, it's harvest time. What do we think of as a harvest time? Apples? Pumpkins? Today, today it's about apples. I decided to take some apples and turn them into some apple crisp. Come follow me along on this video. I'll show you how I made them. My God, what did you eat? Okay, we're going to start with six Granny Smith apples. I chose Granny Smith. If you want something a little sweeter, you can go with something like Golden Delicious. We're going to chop them all down, slice them and dice them up. And when we're done, it looks something like this. Now, what I'm going to do is pour those apples into a mixing bowl, which I should have done from the beginning save the baking dish for future use. I'm going to add three tablespoons of sugar, a tablespoon of cinnamon, a teaspoon of lemon juice. Mix that all together. And if you know me, that's not enough cinnamon, so let's add some more cinnamon. Mix that all together. That looks a little better now. It looks like it's got cinnamon on them apples. Set that aside. There's your baking dish. Put your baking dish down with some extra virgin olive oil. Put the apples into the baking dish. Level them on a little bit. Now we're going to make the crisp part of the apple crisp. We're going to take some refrigerated butter, slice and dice that down into small cubes. You'll see why in a minute. Butter's all sliced up, set that aside. Another mixing bowl. Three quarters of a cup of oats. Three quarters of a cup of flour. One full cup of brown sugar. Some cinnamon. A little bit of salt. And now the refrigerated butter. Put that all in the mix in the mixing bowl. We're going to cut this in with a fork. I used a fork to cut it all in. Keep working at it and eventually it looks something like that. Now we're going to get back our baking dish with the apples and pour the crisp part on top of the apples. Level that all off. Pat it down nicely into the oven at 350 degrees for about 40 to 50 minutes. Come on. Get in that oven. Come on. There we go. And there you go. Doesn't look much different, does it? I'm hoping it is. Watch this. Looking good already. Come on, get on that ladle. All right, add a little bit of ice cream. A little bit of caramel. Delicious. Oh yeah, definitely a winner. One for the recipe books, folks. Thanks for watching my video. Hope you enjoyed watching as much as I've enjoyed making it. Thanks for sharing and being part of my life. You know the drill. When the going gets tough, it's tough to find something to eat. Best way to do that, cook it yourself. Homestead Kitchen Living. Making cooking fun again. Please remember to like, subscribe, share it with a friend. And definitely, go with Jesus. You can't go wrong. We'll see you next week.